and welcome back to Ohio Richlands for episode 44. Well, we'll just check up on the dairy. I think he's going to stop here. He's stopped now, is he? I think he has. Yep. Well, we need to go and finish this bit of the field up the left side this section here and then that little sections across the top and then finish off back down here beside our other 7R. Uh, productions, here we go. So now we have almost 60,000 litres of milk. We've still got 3,500 litres of sugar to get through. I'm hoping that disappears quite quickly. Then once the sugar runs out we will stop the chocolate production. Um, I think we could maybe do cheese, although butter seems to produce maybe quite a bit more. What's the difference in price? Uh, 900 and cheese is a thousand dollars more. Right, so I think we're going to do cheese because then anything we make between once the sugar finishes and September we can then sell and then is it October that sugar cane's ready? It is, because we planted it on the first day, we planted it on the first of March, so it's going to be ready on the first harvest day, which is the first of October. That works in well. So once the sugar finishes, we're going to go on to making cheese. Then the cheese sells in October at the best price. Then our sugar cane will be ready to harvest, and then we can bring all that sugar over at the sugar mill and start distributing it to the dairy to start making chocolate again, ready for selling when chocolate is at the best price, which is May. So this should work in relatively well. Uh, that's that's what I'm planning, Phil, whether or not that works like that. Um, that's, that's a whole different story. But for now, we're going to finish that fertilizing contract, collect the 38,000 due for that. Uh, obviously minus the 14,000 we paid for fertilizer. So that is a a fair chunk of the money away but at the end of the day we're due another payment for this truck tomorrow because if you remember we paid it yesterday to get the truck here today and with two day months that means we've got 20,250 going out tomorrow for the truck but doing that it means the truck's paid off quicker and it's ours and it's one less payment to worry about uh, we still obviously have the quarter million dollar loan uh, hanging over our heads as well so we're going to Kind of watch what we're doing with things and make sure we've got the money to pay for other things and if things come up in the sale as well we need to have money for that really because we're starting to look for things now that we need like the slurry distributor because we have a big slurry tank and there's a couple other things i'm wanting like a bale wrapper if we can get that bale wrapper then i'm going to sell that uh, forage trailer because we no longer need that and also sugarcane stuff it looks like it's coming in well we also need to rent the sprayer Fact, I'm just going to jump in here, just ditch the truck here, uh, and then we'll go and finish this field. I'm not sure how much fertilizer he's got, so what I'm going to do is take this over, and I don't know, a bag maybe? Should take two bags? I'll take two, we can always use it to fill up if we need to, Saves coming back here again. Uh, fill him up. And I'll take over and finish that contract so it's paid into us and we have money for tomorrow. So let's get this done and we'll see you in a little bit.
that's it. That's contract complete. So we'll just collect that $38,000. We did have enough. It's a good job we took bags with us because he had nothing left in the tank. And we're left with 482 litres. I think there's still two bags on that trailer. I can't see it from there. Yeah, there is. There's two bags there. And I think there's still two at the store. So we've used four bags for that field. Well, we'll just collect that now. So $38,108. That also now means we're up to $50,000 in the bank, which means we can afford tomorrow's payment for the truck, which is great. The only thing we've got to do is, where are we, animals? Oh no, they still have plenty of water. So the tanker can be used to supply them with water, because it's a 32,000 litre tanker, and the sheep pen takes 30,000 litres of water. So we can let this run right down to about 5,000 litres left, Take one tanker full, fill it right up. So that is saving time that way, saves running back and forth with little 7,000 litre tanker loads at a time. Uh, that one doesn't need it, I don't know why, but they don't require any water. Uh, still 10,000 litres left of food, they've got 33,000 litres left. What's here, so they're still looking good. We've still 8,500 litres of milk left, so that is brilliant. Uh, plenty of straw, and they've still got plenty of food as well. How is this getting on? Still slowly getting there. Almost a full pallet of wool, so I think we'll be fast forward a bit of time. Uh, see if any other fertilising contracts come through first. And then we need to take all this machines back up with us. Somehow I don't think this tractor and telehandler is going to fit on that one trailer, so I'm just going to have to do it bit by bit. Uh, but we'll take this back up just now. We did have something to fertilise. Our own field. 17... no. Down here. So we could fertilise that. Actually, no. First, what we'll do is we're going to go and rent the sprayer and spray herbicide down on our own field because we need to do that. We'll just leave that there. Let's just quickly jump into the store. Um, sprayers, where are we? There, and it was going to be the Cavernaland. How much is the difference? So that's 1,300. So $700 of difference for another 10 meters of working width. Or we could just stick with that and see what ridiculous speed we can get. 13. We do 12 mile an hour, that's a bit more than a 7. We're still saving money because we're not having a massive working width. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So if we lease that, it's $1,351. Only takes 1,800 litres, but we've got 500 up at the, the farm. So I'm hoping that's enough. I don't know how much it's actually going to take to do this field. Because by the looks of it, apart from a couple of tracks up and down it, it is the whole field that requires herbicide. So we'll quickly go down here, pick this up, and then go back up, fill up the from the IBC. And that'll finish it. I think we may possibly buy another tank of herbicide, but... I think I'm going to wait until either there's a lot of weeding contracts to do that requires herbicide uh, or we need it for our own field but the field we've got up the back of the farm is well maintained so I don't think it would need anything as yet not at least until next year or the, the crops lift this year I don't know but we'll head up there just now fill up this tank and come back down and get our field done
is it all done? One tiny little bit there, but I think we can do without that just now. It's uh, it's done, and that's the main thing. Now we'll just need to unload what's left in here and return this. We did buy two... Uh, there was a different one. There wasn't IBCs this time. There was like six 205 litre drums. Uh, that's what it looked like. There was 1,500 litres. There's six drums on a pallet, and the pallet is only $1,000. So we're getting an extra bit for our money with that one. So I went with them. Uh, there's still a bar uh, still the whole pallet and then three barrels here. So we'll just get this emptied out here. We also did spend a little bit of money on bags of uh, the, the TMR rationing stuff. I'll just jump out, it'll be easier. This stuff here. Mineral feed. One bag, 50 litres, and that should make the mix perfect. But we will slowly use that with the pallet we've got back at the farm. But this is the ones we're talking about here. So it's 1500 litres for a full pallet, and it's only $1,000. Whereas the other ones, we'll just double check actually. A herbicide. So they're both the same, 2000 litres, but $2,400. We're getting 3000 litres for $2,000. So we're saving $400 and we're getting 1000 litres extra. So that was kind of a no-brainer, just to go with them and see how they perform. It is different chemical, so we need to see how well it does compared to the other stuff I put on around the, the boundary of the field, compared to this in the center. So we'll see which one works better and then buy that from now on. But we'll get this unloaded, get this stuff all taken back up to the yard with the trailer, um, and get this off hired, and skip time a little bit. So we'll see you back up at the yard. Well, we've come all the way down here at this time of night because there is a pallet of clothes just spawned and the price is still great. So we're just going to sell this one now because this means we have 50% of the truck payment tomorrow in this one crate. So we'll just quickly double check. 10,220 at the farm shop, 233. So we're going to take this to the campground restaurant next to our yard and then we're going to finish off putting the chemicals and that inside. And then that'll be it for today and then we'll see you bright and early in the morning. So we'll see you up at the cell point to get rid of this pallet clothes. Well here we are, 1000 litres of clothes. 10,200 $32 in the bank. So we've got $56,499 in the bank now. Uh, we've still got the $20,250 payment tomorrow, but I'll make that to the bank in the morning. For just now, I'm just going to finish off putting all of the chemicals uh, and fertilizer and that inside the shed so it's ready and out of the way. And I think we'll call it a night there. So we'll get this done, a quick time lapse and we'll see if there's anything else to do for today. Well, it's now the 1st of May, and that's the payment of $20,250. Come out of the bank and straight to pay for that truck. So now we only have four payments left to make. But today, we have a spraying contract, which we may do. I'm just gonna quickly check the herbicide. Because I know we've got... Yeah, we have plenty, so that should be enough. Um, which field? Nine. 
field nine. Where is that? There we go. So is that corn field? That should be enough to do that. Um, the grass is probably ready. It is. But something tells me it's not quite the stage we need at yet. No. So it's still got another stage to go yet. So I'm going to wait to do that. Uh, there's no point cutting it now because we're going to lose a little bit of yield. Sheep are doing good. Oh, they're one month old. They don't have any yet. 125. Oh, okay. Oh, there's another five as well. So we've got 25 new sheep last month that I didn't realise we actually got. So we've got five land race, 10 Black Welsh Mountain, and 10 Stain Shaft. I'm probably still saying that wrong, but I'm going to go with it. So 25 new sheep. The cows, they're three months old. We got them not long ago. Yep. Chickens. Oh. Oh, we have 60 at one month. Another 60 at two months. 30 months, 21 months, 23. I think we maybe need to change the roosters out. Oh, another three months old. Another 120. Wow. No wonder there's so much eggs coming through. So maybe we need to change that four roosters out because um, they're 23 months old now, coming up for two years old. So maybe we need to take them out. I'm probably going to put in maybe six this time. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Uh, I'm not sure. Wool, we're still working through the wool. Clothes, I think, yep, we're quite low. So hopefully there's another pallet. And there probably was overnight, so I have a fabric pallet waiting to go in. Chocolate production. The sugar is still slowly coming down. It's actually surprisingly slow. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker than this, but I don't know how many pallets we've got down there, so we're going to have to go and check up on that. Slurry, there's still so much slurry to get through, which isn't good. Before we do anything, let's just check the store. A telehandler. Oh. Ah, sugarcane planter. We could use that. Well, we could have if we didn't have to pay for the truck. We're missing just under $2,000 to get that. Um, well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can go in and accept this contract, but we need to borrow the items. It's quite a large field. Um, it's $2,200. Let's have a look. $2,200. 36 meters, 28 meters. It's a big price difference. $2,200. need the maximum working width. Whoa, so we need to do it in one hour, flat, <laughs> to be cheaper. Oh, but then this only holds, holds 1,800 litres. The other one holds 4,000 litres, and I don't remember how much it actually uses. Ah, it's in our cost per hour is $800 per hour. I think it's going to be better off just borrowing the items. Do you know what? Yeah, because it's going to be a lot easier and it saves messing about with us renting stuff and having to uh, do anything else with it. So, wool's oh, we didn't check the wool production. That's what I was going to do. We're too busy looking at how much uh, new sheep we got and chickens. So I got 541 litres of wool and I got 429. Still plenty of grass, although we do need to wait until next month. But with that 25 extra sheep in this pen, I think they're going to eat through that quite quickly. Um, yeah, hopefully. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in this tractor. I'll take it down to the shop. Uh, fingers crossed, if everything goes well, we will leave this tractor there and we'll be able to pick up the new planter. I say new, it's second hand, but it's still uh, new to us. We're going to need to come back up here. Mm, I'm just thinking now. Do you know what's going to be easier? We can always put the planter on, on the trailer. What I'll do is I'll just quickly load up the herbicide we've got and take it down. Saves us buying any more. There we go. And we can just leave the telehandler up here. But I'll get this done just now and we'll get cracking with this first contract.
Newcastle's done that contract and we only have 302 litres left so there really isn't much left to play with. But that's it now completed. Uh, I was a way to complete the contract there but we can't. We need to take this back down and offload what is left in it and then we can complete the contract. So we'll see you down at the store. Well that's us here and offloaded so we can collect the $7,305. Now we have enough for the planter, but we have another issue. We've got two days until we have to make a $20,000 payment for the truck. But I was thinking, we've still got 27,000 litres of corn and 23, almost 24,000 litres of soybeans. It is May just now, the first day in May, so we've got another day in May to go. And then in June, soybeans hits its peak price. And so does corn. So going by this figure, um, we $496 per thousand litres, we'd have 27 times that, which is around 13, just over $13,000 uh, for corn. And for soybeans, it's $1,232 per thousand litres. And with just under 24,000 litres, we would have uh, almost $29,000. So we could easily make the truck payment as long as that prices were good enough or very close to that early in the morning on the 1st of June, which obviously we won't know until the 1st of June. It is quite close just now. We're about 200, just almost $300 off of the price for soybeans. And they're about $100 off of the corn price just now. So what I'm going to do is, probably shouldn't, but I think I will, because we're going to do uh, sugar cane next year as well. Because even if we don't use it for chocolate, we're going to use it for sugar and sell the sugar. Um, in fact, let's have a look to see what price we have for sugar before we go and do that final uh, 500, 542. We've always got milk, so yes, yeah, 2000 dollars Okay, so it, it's definitely worth it either way. So let's go and buy that sugar cane planter. Now, because it's very small, I don't know what the best working speed is. Obviously not one miles an hour, so 13 miles an hour. Um, I think if we go with that, we can always wind it back if it's too high. Uh, but yeah, let's just make this purchase because we will need it every year. So that's thirty-five thousand and four dollars. Just like that. There's a telehandler which would be handy to have. Uh, we've always got one at the farm which we move about every time we need it. But it'd be handy to have one down around this production area. Um, I don't see the point of it just yet. Because um, we've always got this low loader uh, to hand. It's never busy enough that we can't get it. So there is our new planter. Fantastic. Right, we'll nip back up to the farm with this because that's a bit bigger than I originally thought. So it's not gonna, we're not gonna get that on the trailer. So yeah, I'm gonna road that up just in a minute and we'll see you up at the farm. Um, first though, I'm gonna run over and see how much pallets of chocolate we've got. Um, because I think there should be quite a few because we haven't checked it in a minute. Oh, there's two. Well, two is better than none. Yep, two pallets. And is there a next one to spawn sometime soon? 650 litres. So yeah, it is quite close. But by the looks of this, this sugar is going to run out when we're going to be harvesting sugarcane. So it's going to tie in pretty well. Anyway, let's get back up to the farm with this herbicide, get it offloaded back into the shed and fast forward time a little bit because it, there isn't really much to do right now, uh, apart from pick up our new planter, which is what I'm going to go and do and we'll get it straight into the workshop to see how much it is going to cost us to repair it, because obviously it is used. And this tractor, I think it's this tractor, let me just double check this, oh yeah, it's the tractor, 99% damage. So before we do anything else, we really need to get this tractor seen to. 
I was cutting it fine. Right, we'll head back up to the yard and we'll see you up there with our new planter. Well, we were just away to jump into tomorrow because there wasn't much left to do today. All the animals are up to date and fed. Um, we noticed the fertilizing contract come through for field nine. It's worth just over $11,000. So we're away to do that just now. We'll do a little bit of a montage. It won't be too long. And then we'll jump into tomorrow for the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you all again very soon. Thank you for watching.